Hey, it's Katie, and welcome to my corner of the world. All right, it is Ipsy add-on day. If you are a Ipsy Glam Bag member, you get to see what is in your bag. The Glam Bag is $13 a month plus $1.99 handling, so $15. Whereas if you are an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus or an Ipsy Glam Bag X, today is your choice day, so you get to choose the products that will be in there. Or Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, you get to choose three out of your five full-size products. It is $28 plus that $1.99, so $30 a month. And then the Glam Bag X is quarterly and is $60. Right. The Glam Bag, egg, the base one, you get five deluxe size products and you do get to choose one. And and then, and for all three, you get to choose add-ons. So, oh, here's our our little timeline for this month. So, oh, if, for this is for Glam Bags only. You can see your bag today. Actually, Glam Bag Plus, you'll see the two items that Ipsy chose for you, and you choose your other three. The same with Glam Bag X. Shipping... Thing reviews choice day is is August 22nd so that's the one I'll be writing down is that choice day and when we'll choose our products for our September glam bag hey all right so oh here's a quick peek at mine I gotta say I'm not thrilled with mine this month and but you'll see it when it comes in let's look at the add-ons Oh, there it's showing you my bag again. Okay, if we spend at least $25, we get a refreshments plastic comb in lavender. All right, so these are my recommended $3.50 add-on products. The Tatcha Overnight Cream, Aim Tatcha Exfoliating. Oh, and then we have Tulip Primer and Blurring, Mark Anthony Leave-In Conditioner. If this was as the in the like two for five dollar bundle, I'd probably pick up that bundle, but I'm not gonna get it here. There, um, not a bad bad choice for three fifty. He is getting in the headband here, or the face cleaning wipes again. Not bad for three fifty. He and a full size lip gloss. All right. Here's the 350 Deluxe sample products. Um, looks like we have a couple of, excuse me, <clears throat> looks like we have a couple of perfumes. Uh, Juliet has a gun, a couple from uh, English Laundry, Kenzie. A, we have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral and in Light Sand. Debating picking up one of these. Um, I'm on my last bit. I have to look and see if I have other concealer. This is a maybe. It's also one where I'm like, eh, I'd rather look for it in a two for five dollar bundle. <laughs> um, I have a Koki brow pencil in chocolate brown. Um, hemp's body butter, always nice. This is, and these are usually nice, the hemp's. They usually have a decent size on them. Yeah, it's 1.8 fluid ounces, so almost two ounces. So a great travel size on that one. And uh, we have a medium brown, um, the medium brown brow dip in from Anastasia Beverly Hills, a Lip Therapy by Tarte, a liner in black. Go figure. Some more refreshments in here. Hair mask. Scrunchies. Wow. Oh, I've never seen a hand treatment from Gold Vadden, but there we go. Oh, we actually have a duo for three fifty from Vita Vita Libertata. Let's see, eight dollar value. 
Okay, these are for tanning. Got it. Oh, I don't know what it is. Mascara. Masks. Liner. This one at least. Oh, this is a lip liner from Real Her. Eyeshadow quad. Nothing exciting. Nothing that I'm like, yeah, I need this. Well, I have the nice Bell and Argent brush for three fifty. Better than the brush that they're putting in my a bag. They, okay, full size products for twelve dollars. Too Faced mascara, lip plumper, uh, liquid glass miracle soothing sealant from Dry Bar. Uh, some of these are already out. Refreshments partied out pillowcase. Why do you need a refreshment of a pillowcase? Can somebody answer me that? I'm surprised people that this is already out. The uh, pocket mirror. That seems awful expensive at $12. But they say it's a $30 value. Oh, uh, Do the Gods is already out. That's the face wash. I'm surprised at some of these that are out already. I'm also surprised that they're like trying to get me to believe that it's a real deal for $12 when it's normally $15. This is the kind of stuff I expect to be out, like the, the um, palette for $12. Okay, this is ridiculous. They're saying this is a $12 value and they're, it's a, they're selling it for $12. Folks, that's the full price. Ipsy, what the heck? Here, here's a good value. This Cow Cosmetics contour palette, $60 value for $12. Don't get the twelve dollar or, or retail value for twelve dollars. <laughs> what are they thinking? Like seriously, what are they thinking? Hey, um, more perfume, highlighters. There's just nothing standing out to me here. All right, $18 full-size products. We do have a Gold Fadden Liquid Face Lift. This is... I'm trying to say what this is. Is it a serum? It is a serum. Um, so one ounce, 30 ml, retail value 98. Gold Fadden is expensive. I have, oh, the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation's out, no surprise. Here's another, the um, Dark Spot Corrector from Gold Fadden. And Moxie Lash Set that's apparently worth $108 for $18. Natasha Denona. I think you can get it for $9 in Boxy, so I wouldn't get it here for twice as much if you get both. Um, okay, $25 bundles. Not a bundle, but Paracone MD, which is normally $149. You can get for $25. Fave. And a, bra a blowout brush. Nice little Huda Beauty. A one here. It's got the uh, Huda. Which one is this? It's not going to tell me. Here we go. And Topaz. As, and then you have the Item Beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. The Complex Culture four piece. This shows one, two, three, four, five. And a bag. I would say that's six. Four piece face and eye brush set plus envelope. I see five brushes. And then the It Cosmetics Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Okay. I mean, this is a nice little set. Uh, 
for $25, whereas the Huda palette is worth it there. Um, all right, what is this? $50 bundles. Bunch of high end skincare or bundles. $463. Okay, we got a bunch of 111 skin and a Derma E, a By Terry, and this one's a $280 value. And we have Kors. There's Anthony Skincare, Beauty Stat, at Koa Life, The New Co, and Volition Beauty. A couple of tools, and yeah. Alright, that's it. I think you can mark me free for yet another month from Ipsy add-ons. I have not been impressed with their add-ons. I said I'm not super impressed with my bag this month and for me to say that that's big because I've I want to say it's been almost a year straight that I've been in love with my Ipsy bag and this is the first month I'm going I don't know about this Ipsy hey so we shall see hey all right folks that is it let me know if you picked up an, anything in add-ons until I see you next time have a great day bye